Welcome to Casting Cajun. I'm your host, Tony Fondo. We're here at the dock in Gulfport, Mississippi for the 6th Annual Croker Classic. So get ready for an exciting half hour with Casting Cajun. Well, first of all, I'd like to thank all y'all for coming out to the 6th Annual Croker Classic. You guys have uh, participated, a bunch of y'all, every year, and um, it's appreciated. We wanted to do a, a, just a really good, family, wholesome event and a fishing tournament and something that would even the playing field where, you know, anybody could win it. And, you know, uh, that's when I came up with the Croker because you can't target it. It took it out of the hands of the... The, the professional fisherman, the guy that fishes all the tournaments, you know, now he's scratching his head because it's luck of the draw. I mean, they're everywhere. So are you going to be in the right, spa right place at the right time? You know, that's, that's fishing. That's one cool thing about the Croker Classic. It's not singling anyone out. Kids are involved in this just as much as the adults are. And it's not, not like Marty's looking for a 600-pounder fish to come through here. I mean, uh, you know, Croker's all range of sizes, but they, they, for the most part, it's anybody's game. Anybody could definitely enter this competition and anybody can definitely be the winner as well. Actually, a couple years ago, I think they had someone that was under the age of 18 win the, win the tournament. Um, so they had to work that out as far as the money goes. Fishing tournaments, you know, I have daughters. They've watched me do that. They obviously can't participate because we're doing that, you know, 60, 80 miles offshore. So now here's where even, you know, father-son team, you know, here he is watching his dad do this and going to those weigh-ins and stuff and now here's an event where the son can actually win the whole thing you know so that's such a beautiful thing and if, if, if a ten-year-old wins this thing and I cut a check for five thousand dollars to him and they sweep because they can win twice if they win anywhere in the top five they'll win first place in the kids division which is the two-man kayak from Academy Sports loaded with everything in it so you know that would kind of justify this whole tournament for me is you know we've had we came very close to a, an actual kid winning it. I love working with Marty Wilson on the Croker Classic. Marty is a great guy. Um, he really really puts his whole heart and soul into working on this this tournament and making sure that it's that it's big and that everybody enjoys themselves and has a good time. You know, when he first did it, he had it wide open, and it seemed that there were more families fishing and kids and everything. And, you know, I write a lot of stories, and I always say a family that fishes together stays together, and I say, take a kid fishing, and you're developing that. So how about developing it more this way to where all these little kids from that height that can pull in, and Dad didn't help them, a croaker, and they can win a kayak? They have bigger prizes for the kids. I'm in five different tourneys. And all of these rodeos are all for adults, you know. They have kids and everything. They have kid rodeos. But all I'm saying is this one's for the family. Well, when we first started, you know, um, you know, me and my dad and my older brother Steve and my twin brother Mike, you know, we've all, we've fished together as a fishing team forever. And we do well at the tournaments and we place. And there was a couple rigs out there where we were catching, you know, four-pound croaker. And I thought, well, this is cool. We'll have you know people fishing for monster croakers and this will be a cool deal too with the family fishing tournament I mean trips and the father-son trip in the back bay and whatever and uh, once those croakers started coming in that were three and four pounds after a couple years you know people were going well I can't compete with the 42 foot yellowfin or whatever you know so we kind of cut it back made it back into the, the uh, back bay made the line of demarcation right there at the, the Ocean Springs Biloxi Bridge, can't go south of that. And now you've got a, 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 an audience here and, and, a, and a bounty on a fish that's captive in the back bay, which is, which is pretty intriguing. Um, the Croker Classic, what it means to the dock, um, it's just really a good time for our community and for everybody to come out. Um, I mean, $10,000 for the biggest croaker seems crazy, but it really draws a lot of people to come out. Um, it's a great thing for the dog. The kids really like it, and it gives our kids in the community something to do and um, keeps them busy. Man, I've got a, I've got a father-son fishing team that drives over every year from Pensacola. 
I got another guy that drives over from Destin. They plan this weekend to come fish this tournament. I got a ton of people coming down from Hattiesburg and Laurel. There's people coming over from Louisiana. And then, you know, Tony Fontenot with uh, uh, the Cast and Cajun TV show, you know, we're really excited about him coming over and fishing this. And he's going to cover it with a show. And it's going to be amazing. He's going to take my dad out fishing and, you know, maybe they'll win it. Yeah, we're really looking forward to the captain's meeting tonight. That kind of kicks off everything. It gets everybody in the mood. Um, everybody starts really getting geared up tonight. So tonight's going to be a fun night. We've got a lot of great food. We're feeding them. They pick up their t-shirts. It's going to be a really interesting night tonight. Um, and then tomorrow, we're really looking forward to getting the boats out on the water and uh, getting some people fishing so they can take this prize money home. don't have a depth finder? Now see, we're getting, there's a shallow bar right there. I came up a foot when I first went across there. Okay, Tony, see this boat right here? Yes, sir. Try to go right down through there. We're getting right. a little bit shallow. All right. right. Whoa, I think I got a croaker. Do you need a, a big net? one, but he's a little fella. It's a croaker, though. Croaker time. Look at that. Yeah, that's a croaker, croaker classic. I don't think that one's going to win, though. No, but I'll tell you what. If we was in deep water, you'd make good bait. Yeah, <laughs> you got that right, Dick. They're a beautiful little fish. I hear they're very good eating, too, if you get them big and enough. And you can hear him croak. Croak. <laughs> a little bit bigger, and I'd keep him and use him for cut bait, but... I like to let the little fellows live. Well, first thing this morning, Dick took us out to some of his speckled trout spots, but the fish weren't cooperating, the tide wasn't moving at all. We saw a lot of boats there but nobody was catching, so I know it's not just me. Came out and fished the croaker tournament now. We have to stay from this bridge back this side. Caught a few little croaker, a few white trout. Hopefully we'll get something that can place. Yeah, I think so. There he goes. Must have a fish on. Oh, a fighter. That's called a golden poker. See that? It's pretty. Can I touch it? Sure. That's a good shot. Does it sting? Just like that. No, he won't sting. Ah. He might, uh, what? if you grab a hold of him, he might horn you a little bit. But. Now, the big ones are around a pound and they're gold like that. Are they ever pretty? Okay, let's catch some more. Little one. Take it slow, take it slow. Little one. Take it slow, take it slow. Well, if you give him too much line, they eat them off. Okay. It's a little fella. Nice little fighter. What you got, Dick? Well, close against the boat. Is right? it a hard like head? A Looks like a hard head. Yeah. Good. You never know. Like the catfish you, know? you could. No, it's a Come trout. A, nice a white, white trout. trout. Oh, we can eat that one. That's right, you can. Okay. Fish up towards the point. That's okay. where the white trout are. As I always say, I like to fish with people who are better than me. <laughs> yeah, like I you. don't care for the fish that are better than me. You never get them. Fish a... on. See what this one is. I think since that current started to move a little bit, the fish are turning on. Another white trout. All right. All right. Little white trout, small, but it'd be some delicious little fillets. 
And since I paid all that money for that Mississippi fishing license. Don't throw him back. No. Here's an eater. All right. Oh, you got that other one? All right. First fish I catch today. There was a, a 42 pound black drum. I think there was a 36 Boom. and a 32. Um, big red fish, 26 pound red. The croaker thing is still up for grabs. First place right now leading the board is .55, so it's anybody's game right now. Throw them up. Okay, Taylor, you got a nice croaker here. What did you catch it on? Cut bait, I think. Cut bait? Yeah. And you know what kind of fish you use that you cut? No. You just knew it was cut bait. <laughs> mm -hmm. And how about you? Uh, I just cut, I think I just got it on the cut bait, I think, too. And were you fishing on the bottom or with a stopper? Your bait was all the way on the bottom? Yeah. You don't I don't know. even know. You don't even know. All you know is you caught it. Mm hmm Okay, you ready to weigh it? Sure. Let's go see what they weigh. Why are they fishing all day? That's where he likes to fish. Welcome to day two of the Croker Classic. I said Colonel. I, I, I think Yeah, you throw that in the water there. Well, Dick took us to one of his double top secret spots. We're going to try to catch a few redfish here before we go target with Croker. So let's see what happens. You know, we've been fishing in five years. And we never pulled up here in another boat fishing it. And I know they see us here. When they go over, excuse Maybe me. Maybe they think we don't know, you don't know what you're doing. Yeah, probably. Little do they know. That was a nice one off the rim. Oh, yeah, he knows how to cast now. Feels like it might be another one of those hardhead catfish, Dick. It ain't very big. That nah, cool? he's acting like a hardhead, too. The way he's shaking. Oh, 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 a croaker. Yeah, yeah. All right. It's croaker time. You think he's eight ounces? That's the. No. Oh, he, he's croaking. Are you hearing? Yeah. Croak again. Croak. Croak again, that's and I'll let a, you go. That's about a 4.5. If you, if you croak again, I'll let you go. All right. It's a deal. Deal is a deal. Man, and like Dick was saying yesterday, these croakers, I guess it's as a defense, they flare their gill plates out and they are sharp. Up there. Yeah, right here. There, here it is. There's right here. Ooh, it's sharp. Like a razor or something. You got these something. two little ones down here. You'll be holding them right there. So be careful when you grab them around the head. Bye, little buddy. Ooh. Ooh. Swim off. <laughs> Ooh, swim off. First time I kissed a croaker. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Wasn't bad. I've kissed a lot of them in the croaker. <laughs> A lot of the ones you, he's 83 years old, so a lot of the ones, a lot of the ones he's kissed have croaked. <laughs> a little puppy. Yeah, uh, He's such a puppy, I think he's probably still nursing on his mother. <laughs> I'll tell you what, two pounds more, and that's the most delicious little fish you can get. Oh yeah, they're good. Actually, when you, once you clean them, you can't taste the difference between that and, and red They're fish. so pretty, though. They are beautiful. And when they're young, they got the stripes just like a sheep head. You know? When they get old, they get ugly. But so do we. Yeah. Well, some of us, you're still pretty. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And Miss Jackie. <laughs> Jackie does well. I'm set up with a Carolina rig. I think this is about a half ounce weight. And I've got a small hook. I guess this is about a uh, two odd two or three out because we're targeting croaker since we're fishing the croaker classic but I don't mind catching some redfish and drum so I'm having a blast what is it what is it a baby drum, a baby, drum. <laughs> baby drum let's 
should take. <laughs> well, we went and got some more shrimp. We've only got a couple hours to fish before we have to go in and set up the film the way in. So we're going to stay here by this railroad trussle and see if we can pick up something that'll make the board. You got one. Reel it in. His line was going out. <laughs> Just set it down in the rod holder and he did better than when he holds it because then he keeps on reeling. <laughs> Reel it, reel it. Reel, 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 buddy. Now reel down, reel, reel. All right, now I'm gonna pick up on it. Reel. Ooh, hang on, let me see. Yeah, he's still on there. Watch, let's stick this right there. Well, originally my prediction was a stingray. It could be a big catfish too. Real. Wait. Oh. Yeah. Oh, oh. You gotta turn his head this way, so you can get him in the net. I can't get past the camera. Get him, get him, get him. Oh, wait. Oh. Real. All right, now wait. Get his head up. Real. All right, here comes his head. All right! Okay. Woo! Sideways. <laughs> you got him, boy! <laughs> Give me some dab! Yeah, oh. Was that fine or what? Yeah. Look how clean he is. We gotta take some pictures of you with that fish, huh? <laughs> Come up here with me. Yeah. Now look at the camera. This is a black drum, and there is a red fish and drum category in this croaker tournament. We don't have anything in the croaker division to make the board, but I think we might win something with this one. What do you think, Richard? Let's go put him in the ice chest, huh? What better way to break in my new blue wave than fishing a tournament for croakers? It was a blast. Yesterday morning we got a late start. Dick wanted to go out and catch a few trout, at least that was the plan. He says, we'll go make a quick trip to this island, catch a mess of trout, and then go play with the croaker. Be a piece of cake. Turns out, just like it does at home sometimes, wrong day, right place, wrong day. Boats fishing everywhere, so I could tell there's been fish there recently, but nobody was catching. So we ended up going for the croakers, got kind of a late start, caught a few little ones, had little Richard with us, so it was just fun watching him catch fish and have a good time. It's always fun when you have a kid and an old person. And even though Dick's been around for 83 years, he's really younger than me. Well, we had, we had another record year. We had like 441 entries this year, uh, which is absolutely fantastic. So day two, we got an early start. Decided to go straight for the croakers, drum, and redfish. No trout. No messing around. We were serious, trying to win this rodeo. Once again, hard head, hard head, hard head. Few little croakers, few little drum, and we moved off to this shell reef. Little Richard put his rod in the rod holder. I don't know if he was eating something, drinking something, just running around the boat like he usually does. All of a sudden, the drag went off. I said, "Fish on!" Ran over there, grabbed his rod. I had to hold on to him and the rod to keep him from going over. It was quite a fight, 12 pound test line, and when we bring the fish to the weigh-in, you'll find out at the same time as us how much he weighed. Okay, little Richard, let's go weigh your fish and see if we won anything. All right. Now, now this is a new species of croaker, it's a black croaker. Oh, yeah? <laughs> we'll put him on there and see what he weighs. 14.98. How much? 14.98. Okay. 14.98. Man, it was just fantastic. You could feel the electric, the electricity in the in the crowd. Those kids, every one of them, just lit up every time they won something. I mean, you'd think they won the Super Bowl, you know. And I think that's what really makes it all worth it and that's what it's all about to me. I always want to thank my sponsors because without all them sponsors, 
this tournament would not be possible, you know, and I ask them and they're all so generous in what they give and they really make it happen where I can have all those great prizes. I mean, you saw how cool that stuff was for those kids. And when, when you can do that, they, they, they come back and enforce and fish this thing and it just keeps promoting more family fishing trips, dude, and that's, that's really what it's about. Well, you've seen the winners. As you can tell, in here, the party's still going on, going strong. I'm sure it'll be going on for quite a while. As always, I want to give a special thanks to our military, our active troops, and our veterans. We love you. Appreciate all you do for us. So until next time, keep on casting. One day last December, we had a hard freeze. And Boudreaux and Marie is driving down a country road. All of a sudden, Boudreaux slammed the brakes. But it was too late. They had a poor mama skunk and three little babies crossing the road. You know, Boudreaux hit that mama skunk and killed her and two of her babies. And they saw the other little baby out there just shivering in the cold, and their hearts went out to it. Boudreaux looked at Marie. Marie looked at Boudreaux and said, Boudreaux, we can't leave that little baby skunk out there in the cold. Boudreaux said, you're right, Marie, go pick him up. So she got back in the truck with him, closed the door, and that little thing was still shivering. He was almost froze. Marie said, Boudreaux, how am I going to keep this little skunk warm? Look how cold he is. He said, me, Marie, unbutton your coat and stick it up under your armpit. That ought to keep him warm. Marie looked at Boudreaux. She said, man, Boudreaux, won't it smell? She said, man, you can just pinch his little nose.